Stopwatch is a high growth venture backed startup specializing in B2B software for enterprise solutions. Stopwatch is really designed to help big CPG consumer packaged goods companies solve problems in the data and the analytics space. As a small company, we have to be nimble and we have to use the tools that allow us to be nimble. From a startup perspective, if we're not innovating, then we're dying. And so by leveraging the suite of systems that Microsoft has built, we're able to more concentrate on solving problems. From the very beginning, Stopwatch has been a digital native company. We've been in the cloud from day one. When the pandemic hit, we went full remote. Teams is a huge part of our collaboration. All the integrations that it provides with things like whiteboard, like our DevOps work items for sprint planning, pipelines and our code repositories. So our Git pull requests and all that are integrated through Teams as well. So having all that together in one place and keep things moving was huge for us. Visual Studio 2022 allows us to integrate into everything from our hosting environments, into our code repositories, into our agile repositories, all from within one tool. It helps us feel bigger than we are. Being able to use Live Share from a collaboration standpoint is really huge. When you bring new people in, you have to learn the code base. And being able to sit potentially hundreds of miles apart and look at the same piece of code together definitely helps get everyone on the same page. The .NET Framework enables pretty much all of our stack front to back. We have our data access layer built in .NET, our web APIs and web services are built in .NET, and the fact that we can deploy that onto different environments and containers really helps with our agility there. Being able to leverage open source tools also allows us to operate faster. It helps us get back to where we really need to be, and that is solving problems. We needed a, an easy way to scale our Kubernetes clusters up and down. So Kata was a, a natural fit. Our Kubernetes cluster can scale from zero workers, where we pay nothing, all the way up limitless scale, and where we can run as many jobs as we want to. We use PowerShell whenever we're deploying our imports engine. We also use PowerShell to interact with Power BI. We have scripts that, that are part of our build pipelines and are part of our data refresh pipelines. We're able to execute seamlessly. I don't think there have been many JavaScript-based projects that I've started in the last 10 years that haven't used TypeScript. TypeScript definitely has allowed me to actually be able to more rapidly work on the front end. That strategic longevity is definitely an important piece of it because if you're not building your technology with things that are going to scale and aren't going to continue to innovate and remain relevant, you're going to become stale. There's a million things that can go wrong in startup and the one thing that I can't afford to go wrong is that our technology actually fails or breaches or has any sort of issues. We've got to have all our bets hedged. And Microsoft has just been never a question in terms of whether or not we could be confident in taking that bet.